What is, because I asked about kids before, and, and you do a lot of work with music and sound, and I mean, you talk about it in the poems, but how does that, how, what's your relationship to music in terms of writing? I think I'd be lost without, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm on the grasshopper side. I think I'd be lost <laughs> without, uh, without music. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you gotta have music, and uh, I, at times, because I've traveled a lot, uh, and I don't travel, I don't wanna say I don't travel well. I, I, I think I get where I'm going, but I couldn't get on a plane without music mm. because I, I'm a, a nervous flyer. And I know Jesus and I are on pretty good terms, but if he's gonna take me out, he's gonna take me out on something that makes sense. He's not gonna take me out screaming. I'm just gonna be listening to John Coltrane <laughs> as, it, as it goes on down. And so, I, uh, <laughs> that's the truth, Jesus knows that. And it, it's just, music is, has always been a part of, uh, it is a part of my life. I don't, I, I, can't, I don't have a voice, you know, and I'm so sorry because one of the reasons I like uh, the spirituals is that, you know, you don't have to, some, some of your people can sing. You don't have to have a voice to sing the spirituals. You have, have to have a voice to, a to sing rhythm and blues. You have to have a voice to sing, you know. I like Billie Holiday though, because she didn't have a voice. And uh, somebody had asked her once, you know, how come you sound like you do? And she, <laughs> Billy did not suffer fools greatly either. I did not know Miss Holiday, I just, you know. And she said, you know, I sound like myself, everybody, you know, <laughs> and I, I ain't gonna sound like the rest of them. And of course, uh, I had an argument recently, um, Jenny was with me, I had an argument recently uh, because uh, she wrote uh, Strange Fruit. Mm -hmm. And I, I was talking to somebody who thinks she knows music and we were talking about, I said, yeah, you know, Billie Holiday, you know, wrote, we were talking about traditional. I said, yeah, Billie Holiday wrote Strange Fruit. And he said, no, Billie Holiday didn't write that. And I said, Billie Holiday wrote Strange Fruit. He said, well, where can I find that? And I, I really did, I just had to look at him. And I didn't call him a name, which I usually would have done. I said, I just told you. <laughs> what the hell do you mean, where do you find it? You found it because I just fucking told you. It makes you crazy. Because when you, anytime you see traditional, you know that is one of our songs that somebody stole. And honest to God, and, and uh, we all have white friends and stuff, but that's what makes you mad. Don't be fucking stealing from me and then acting like, you know, oh, I didn't realize I was stealing. Of course you did. <laughs> and Billie Holiday, in case you don't, if, if you're on Jeopardy, <laughs> and you have a question, Billie Holiday wrote, Strange fruit. Yeah, not hers, Ark, Billie Holiday. Mm. And it, it's that kind of thing that makes you mm. crazy. But music means everything to me. I, as a little girl, um, my parents, I always used to say my parents fought, but they didn't. My father beat my mother. And you had to have something to block that. Mm. So music is going to block it. I, I listened to, uh, when, I, when I finally moved to Knoxville with my, my grandparents, I listened to WGN. I'll never forget WGN. And, there, there are things that I, I remember my grandmother's phone number, no. 31593. It, it's just one of, I don't remember my mother's phone number, I don't, but I, I, I remember grandmother's phone number. Mm -hmm. And I remember listening to WGN, which went off at midnight, and I would cuddle with the radio. These are the old plug-in radios. And I would listen. I think many a night, and she never said anything to me about it, I think many a night grandmother must have come in and turned the radio off. She must, she must have known. She must have known a lot of things. She must have known what her daughter was going through. She must have known what I was running from and why I plugged that radio in. She must have known because she, she's, a, she's a mother. She, she, she must have known. But uh, I remember waking up many a day and, and, the phone, and the radio was off and I was thinking I must have done it. it. Took me the longest to think, no, grandmother must have come in and turned the radio off. Oh. 